Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss the Virgo moon sign. So if you have your moon sign and it falls in line with Virgo, um, this means underlying you are indefinitely a Virgo. Um, when we discuss sun signs, guys, I want you to understand clearly that a sun sign is the conscious part of your brain. It's the part of your brain that's actually saying this is how I define myself, essentially, that I'm consciously aware of. Um, these are traits that I naturally have and other people would probably pick up. The moon sign is more of the subconscious aspect. Um, it always is like that, the male-female energy. This is the yin and the yang energy. So the yang is always outward, it's very expressive. The yin is very receptive, but it's a lot deeper. The female energy is a lot deeper than people actually like to think. This darkness in the back of your brain makes up for 90% of your brain. Meaning this is actually making up the real portion of who you are. How you're reacting to circumstances, how you're defining your environment, how you're actually interpreting things that are happening to you. Right? So these are the parts of us that we might fail to even want to admit. A lot of people will not even discuss their moon sign because they're in such opposition to it, especially if their natural sun astrological sign is something that's opposite, like a Gemini and a Pisces, right? However, this is a very, very important uh, cheat code that if you want to learn it, you will actually be able to master yourself. You'll be able to find a real purpose. You'll be able to actually manifest things with a lot more ease, all right? So let's define Virgo now. So if you have Virgo as your moon sign, this really means that you are a systematic, organized sort of person. You're a person that's very security conscious, could be quite family oriented and quite disciplined. It's no secret that Virgos make up for um, the majority of millionaires and billionaires, a lot of wealthy people that go from rags to riches, that story. They fall under Virgo, usually the sun sign. The moon sign, I still would say, would be there as well though. The reason being is because this is how you're going to actually make decisions. You're going to be somebody who's going to make a decision saying, should I quit this job or go to the next one based on security? What offers me more money? What's closer to home, etc. Right? So you need to understand that the Virgo symbolism, um, even according to older Egyptians, they started talking about it in a sense of it's like a, it's very service oriented. In order to become rich, you have to provide value to people, which is service oriented. Whether you're doing something like me where I'm presenting you with information on YouTube or you're selling a drink on the road or you're hustling in different sort of ways that's going to actually in turn provide value to the marketplace that we live within, right? Because we're living within capitalism, especially in these Western countries. So the Virgo moon sign is very, very beneficial. Mercury is exalted within Virgo, giving you a lot of the good, concise organized sort of mind where you can actually get good thought processes through and then make things happen from them. The only weakness that I would say with the Virgo moon sign is that you guys may be of too much servitude to people, meaning you may get manipulated and used by people who are quite close to you or by people who view you as somebody who will have a lot of empathy for their sob story. Once you understand that your empathy must be controlled, you will have a lot easier time in life. That's the major lesson with this moon sign. It's not to subconsciously just help every and anybody that comes across your path that asks you for help. You need to give your gifts to the deserving people and not just give it to any and anybody. You guys are very perfect for marketing and entrepreneurship and being the structure and foundation of any business. I know that entrepreneurship may not necessarily cross your mind if you have this moon sign just because that's very risky. You guys are very risk adverse. However, a lot of people under your sign end up doing it because you have more security having your own business and actually being responsible for how your life is going to go in comparison to a company doing that. So you need to look at it from that angle and really view where your passions lie, view the rest of your natal chart, view your numerology, and then make a very calculated decision, which is not hard for you guys. You guys always do. And then move forward with your life. There's a depiction of the Virgo symbol being associated with slavery in the old Egyptian times, which I was getting at earlier, meaning you guys will become of too much servitude to other people. You guys will become that rug that people just walk on and rub their feet off and keep it moving. You don't want to be that weak sign. You want to actually show your strength through helping the people like your family and close friends that have showed their loyalty and honor to you and pursue your life with the confidence of you do provide the security. You're looking for security when that security comes from within. You guys are already very pragmatic and organized and systematic to the point where you are the security that you're looking for. If you actually look within, 
you're going to find the answers. All right. So that does conclude my video on the Virgo moon sign. If you guys do have any questions regarding it whatsoever, um, just let me know in the comments. You can also hit me up at Shems Universe 8.0 on Instagram, and I'll be happy to help you guys out with any more um, vital information that you'd require from this moon sign or any other sign in your natal chart. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching today. Please like, subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow, guys. Peace.